December 19th, Sunday. Just got back from the gym filming a workout for the webpage. Just gonna relax, watch some football, Sunday night football. Before I leave tomorrow morning to go to Florida to spend some time for the holidays with my parents. As you can see, I'm pushing mute on the football game because as I got out of the gym, there was a phone call, a message from a, a good friend of mine, an editor of a magazine, saying, hey, we need a story to go with a cover that we decided to use you for and run for the January issue, you know, the New Year's resolution, the first one. Um, we need a cool story to go with it. I'm like, cool, man. So I caught her up. We started talking and shooting the shit. And uh, came up with a really cool storyboard. A storyboard that's about overcoming adversity, achieving your goals, that mind-body connection, that natural high you get in the gym. That's more than just the vanity with, the, with what the mirror gives you. It's that toughness, that confidence, that you can overcome something if you put your mind to it. And uh, so she was dicking the idea and stuff, especially considering earlier this year I had you know, a little bit of adversity where I was doing some construction on my house, building an aquarium outside, and I'll show you what that is, because it's finished now. Um, when my hand went through a saw, I cut three fingers off. I cut these three fingers off my hand right here. And um, they're not totally healed yet, you know, but I'm working through it, you know. I'm still going to the gym, still working through that handicap of life. I'm not letting it stop me. So I'm taking this adversity, learning from it. Even though one portion of my body isn't 100%, doesn't mean the rest of my body can't be 100%. So I find a remedy to go with that, that handicap to make it as good as possible so the rest of my potential isn't hindered from this one aspect. Because last I looked, this is all still good, right? So she was liking the idea and so was I because I think New Year's resolution is so much more than going to the gym for three weeks and giving it up. You have to have the right fuel in the tank, the right fire to really push you through those, those walls in February and March and, 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 and April that till you see your body transform and you find that love and passion and the, oh man, I'm in it to win it, I'm actually seeing the results. Man, this is, this, this is a natural high, a greater high than any chemical drug can ever give you. I promise you that. So she's like, good, write it up. I need it um, by Thursday. And I go, well, you know what? That storyboard is great, but it doesn't go with that picture for the cover. I mean, this is the first one out of the gate. New Year's resolution, January 2011. We need something more inspiring, you know, something like reaching for your goals, hitting your targets this year, raising the bar of your potential, that kind of idea. And she's like, well, you got one? And I go, well, let me, let me shoot one, you know? And she's like, I need it by Wednesday. And I go, well, I'll give it to you tonight because I'm leaving for Florida tomorrow morning. And she's like, if you can get it, do it. So I called a couple of my photographer friends that's in town, and I got voicemails everywhere. Out of town till January, out of town till after New Year's. I'm like, whoa, everybody's out of town. Oh shit, so I just said I can do this, and now I, you know, I'm gonna eat my words? Hell no. I had a small window of opportunity. My buddies and photographers are all out of town for the holidays, so I'm gonna open that opportunity myself. Like life, man. You have to do it yourself sometimes. There's another lesson, you know? You can't sit back and wait for somebody else to make it happen. Sometimes you gotta make everything happen for yourself if you really wanna do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't have any expensive camera gear. I got my little handheld camera that I take in my pocket when I go out and shoot some stuff. That's gonna be my, my magical lady. We're gonna attempt to shoot this cover tonight and write the story and hand it in before I jump on a plane to head to Florida to see my folks. Sometimes in life, guys, you just gotta do it yourself. Follow me as I learn. I've never done this before. If it doesn't mean I, I can't do it, I'm gonna give it a shot. You gotta believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, then all of a sudden you have the confidence to overcome things. Like in life, you gotta wish it and dream it, and then you gotta follow it with action and do it. So we're gonna wish it, dream it, do it right here. January's cover, December 19th. We're going to shoot it and create it tonight. It goes to print on Wednesday. Good luck. <laughs>
You guys can shoot me a lot better than I can shoot myself. Just like sex. You only can do so much by yourself. <laughs> Fitness modeling or any kind of bodybuilding out of proportion never works. We're gonna have it work tonight. <laughs> Cause we got all these fucking lights and little fucking David vs. Goliath camera here. Or don't wear a shirt. <laughs> Only danger into the fitness model, aren't we? And I have a camera on a tripod and self timer to shoot this shot because no photographer is going to allow you to get in front of him with a fucking piercing four razor blade arrow. Life will either wreck you or you wreck life. So maybe this year we use this wrecking bar and we wreck our fears. We grow our potential, what we can be. Um, so that's the symbolic nature of a wrecking bar. Did you read 